Good morning, everyone. We are here to uh, give our presentation on the business model of our uh, company, Mary Sneakers. Mary Sneakers is uh, basically a company which was established in 2017 uh, by, by a group of young and enthusiastic entrepreneurs that wanted to start a new venture in the field of shoe industry. And we are a, a shoe distributor company um, who aims to distribute good quality shoes uh, in the market of USA. And uh, Mary Sneakers Private Limited uh, company consists of five board members. And um, first uh, person holding the position of Chief Executive of, uh, Director is Mr. Romil Sunam. And uh, Chief Financial Director is me, myself, Pramod Bandare. Marketing Director is uh, Ms. Kimita Subedi. Uh, Research and Development Director is uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Royuz Mananda. And Human Resource Director is Ms. Preeti Thapa. Let's proceed to the next one. Uh, our company's target market is uh, basically the um, uh, sneakers of the market segment of male, female, and kids. And, we consider our uh, competitors as the famous reputed brands, uh, shoe brands uh, and sports equipment brands called Nike, Adidas and uh, Reebok. Mm, to compete with them, we have come up with a competitive strategy that we call, uh, that, is, that we have determined by using the Porter's five uh, forces model, which is the combination of cost leadership, product leadership and customer intimacy. Uh, that means, uh, we give priority to uh, quality products at a reasonable price, thereby maintaining the good uh, relationship with the customers. Mm. And then uh, we have determined our core objective is to become the leading distributor, distributor of sneakers in USA with a reliable distribution channel offering good quality products at a, at a reasonable price. Mm. Our company has the mission and vision statement and the mission statements is that we strive to provide the uh, people with the comfort in every stage of life and our vision statement is that uh, we want to be recognized as a leading distributor of quality products at a reasonable price with good organizational culture where the effort of every individual is highly valued uh, and accountability is there. Uh, now to talk about the marketing process and marketing module of our company, I would like to uh, call Ms. Kimita Subedi. Thank you. I'm going to talk about the marketing and sales of Mayor Sneakers. Marketing consists of the marketing mix, so I'm going to speak about the marketing mix. Uh, for product, uh, we decided to uh, uh, we decided to sell the sneakers of uh, all three categories that are men, women and kids. Uh, sneakers market is flourishing uh, in all genres and generations, so all three categories can make a good profit for Mero Sneakers. Uh, for price, uh, uh, we have decided to, uh, for men, the, our sneakers is quality oriented, uh, so its price is slightly higher than women and kids. Uh, for women and kids, uh, it is price oriented, so the prices are slightly lower. Uh, for place before 2019, uh, we decided on uh, intensive distribution of the sneakers so that the customers can know about our product. Uh, but after 2019, uh, we went for selective distribution as the intensive distribution was hampering our uh, brand image uh, and the selective distribution did good for our brand image after that. Uh, for promotion, we um, advertised uh, through different campaigns, press releases, releases and uh, news. Uh, our move, Choose to Move Your Soul campaign in 2022 was uh, very uh, effective uh, and uh, it also helped in increasing the sales and increase our net profit. Uh, uh, the sales of the company depends on the sales strategies. So uh, we applied IDAS theory, which stands for attention, interest, desire, action, and uh, satisfaction. Um, for attention, uh, for attention of our customers, uh, we were customer int intimidated uh, company. Uh, also, 
uh, our uh, sales was intensive so our customers uh, so mayor sneakers was able to grab the attention of our of the customers easily uh, for interest we give the price advantage to the customers so uh, as the price of our sneakers is low low uh, and through innovations uh, innovations um, through according to our r and d gave uh, uh, the latest design, designs to our sneakers so that the desire of the customers were met uh, for the lost customers and probable customers we also took various actions such as campaigns, innovations, uh, news releases, etc. And we made sure that no customers left empty handed uh, uh, through inventory uh, fulfillment as uh, we selected the fastest delivery uh, for our inventory. Now I'd like to call Rayus for, for the presentation. Thank you. Now, talking about uh, operation management. It uh, mainly concerns with planning, organizing, and supervision of business practices to create the highest level of efficiency within a, uh, within a company. It is quite important for a company to uh, achieve its uh, uh, organization objectives. Uh, now, now, talking about our com uh, company, uh, we decided to enter the market with male and female sneakers. Uh, Male and female single. Our main objective from the beginning was to provide quality products which can be afforded by the general public. But after the first year, we came to know that our sales was quite low. Uh, so we uh, came up with a plan to use cost leadership method to uh, increase our market share as we were decreasing the cost of the product. Uh, in the second year, we started manufacturing kids. Uh, we started ma manufacturing kids sneaker with, uh, by applying the same method of uh, cost leadership. Uh, even with the reduced prices, uh, we, uh, we, we are not being able to make uh, profit, so we made some adjustments to our suppliers by uh, appointing a low-cost supplier. However, the third and the fourth year uh, showed that our income was, uh, our demand was uh, increasing uh, slowly, so we started increasing our inventory size. Uh, moreover, uh, the su current suppliers were not being able to uh, deliver the products in time, so deliver the products uh, in time. Uh, so we again changed our suppliers to highly managed and skilled ones. Lastly, uh, completion of fifth and sixth year showed that our uh, showed improvement in our profit ratio. Uh, uh, and with the increasing uh, customer demand, uh, uh, we'll be fre frequently increasing the size of the inventory. Thank you now, I'd like to call the Uh, it is very important to uh, manage and collect skilled human resource and um, the main motive of human resource management is to make maximum use of um, employees contribution. For our mirror speakers company we have uh, the job, job, uh, the, the job searches are done according to the um, skills of uh, the skills of people and individual interest and company's interest are taken in account to select um, to select uh, qualified staffs and um, we uh, we have conducted talent management program so that uh, so that the, so that the employees. Uh, so that employees can harness their uh, skills and also improve, um, improve more uh, and use their skills creatively. Um, and also, the staffs, um, the staffs will uh, we give trainings and guidance to the staffs who lack and um, who lack and cannot meet this standard. The, um, after every project, every individual are reviewed and the behavior are monitored so that they can be aware that what, what our company are, is expecting from them. And after um, with that, uh, with reviewing that uh, their um, work, we 
We provide them certain rewards like um, promotions uh, and bonuses, uh, and as well as some facilities like uh, pensions and other facilities. Um, so this is why our employees um, employees have a sense of competition and strive to um, and strive to um, work better. And we have uh, better relations with our employees in comparison with the contract. Now I would like to call Rom Sira for, for the presentation. <coughs> um, thank you, Priti. Good morning, everyone. I'll be talking about the financial structures of our company, various figures. As we all know that finance is a very important, uh, prominent topic uh, within a business, which helps to strategize different decisions and help to uh, help in operation, uh, operations of, of businesses. So this is the balance sheet of the year 2018, uh, which is 2017, uh, before we started the business. And we had the total assets of uh, 3,736,393, which then declined to, uh, uh, sorry, this is the uh, uh, balance sheet of the last year of 2023 which declined from 6,999,000 to 336,393. And uh, this is the income statement of the year 2023, which we can see that we made a sales of 3,946,840 uh, euros, which uh, led us to uh, have a loss of uh, minus 1,283,603. However, uh, this loss uh, increased from uh, the last year of 2022 uh, by 122,368 euros. As we can see, uh, know that we made a loss, but uh, the loss is increasing uh, by the year and year. So we come to a conclusion that we are losing our money. And what we want is an investment of 3 million uh, euros for the share of 15% equity. So why do we want our why do we want our potential investors to invest in our business, which is uh, having a very great loss? Uh, is because we uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, the loss was actually due to the uh, uh, increase in the operating cost and administration administrative cost in our business. Though we tried to uh, decrease the administrative cost and uh, uh, cost of operating operations but uh, it was not uh, it was not uh, supporting our decisions so we want 1 million of that uh, 3 million investment uh, to be dealt with operating and administ administrative costs within the business and 500 euros to operate our delivery services as we uh, had a very uh, fast delivery service before in the first second first and second year but we had to uh, opt for the uh, lower uh, cost of, of uh, delivering. So we want to upgrade it to the uh, fast delivery again as we have more demand in our sneakers for uh, kids and uh, men. We also would like to invest that 500, uh, other 500 million, uh, 500 euros to boost our research and development so that our, it can support our business and uh, make our business more really uh, resilient. Um, also, 500, million, uh, 500 euros for marketing purpose and advertising purpose, and rest 500 uh, thousand dollars for, uh, euros for development of our for the development of our products. <coughs> so we also did a break-even analysis, and we found out that for men's sneakers, we uh, required uh, to sell three 32,000 uh, units of sneakers, uh, men's sneakers, per year to uh, break even, and for women. Uh, we require 22,028 units to be sell, uh, sold uh, per year uh, to break even. And for kids, we require 30,024 units to be sold for, <coughs> per year uh, for, to break even. We also did a, for a sales forecast uh, in which we had, uh, we had 3 million 729,795 uh, euros in, uh, that we were able to generate uh, uh, by selling our product in the year 2022, which then increased to 3,946,840 in the year 2023. So we forecasted for the year 2023, if we 24, if we uh, re, uh, if we can uh, urge you to provide us investment so that we can 
increase our sales, which was forecasted as four million fifty nine thousand and one euros, so that we can we can uh, uh, utilize the money for operating costs and administrative costs and other uh, decisions that we are about to take and generate uh, a, a, a profit of 1 million euros a year in the year 2024. Thank you. Now I'd like to call Pramod for concluding the presentation. Thank you, Romil. Uh, despite the huge loss and uh, um, presence of huge and giant competitors like Nike, Adidas and Reebok in the, in the sneakers uh, market, we haven't given up hope and we, we are completely revamping our, our business model and um, our uh, uh, business functioning structure so that we can uh, compete um, in a much easier way with, uh, with the giant competitors. Um, for that, uh, we, are seeking, uh, we are seeking the investment of uh, six, uh, 6 million euros and um, uh, 6 million euros and uh, eh, sorry, sorry, 3 million euros uh, and well, a, a good amount of that money will be used to do more uh, research and development activities in terms of the ongoing trend uh, and ongoing demand of the customers in the market, uh, thereby providing the uh, good quality products at a reasonable price. Uh, and we are also planning to do uh, celebrity, uh, celebrity endorsement kind of uh, marketing activities as well as we are, we are going to uh, give our uh, presence in the market, creating the market uh, buzz like doing the sponsorships to uh, to uh, sporting events like football, uh, cricket, not not the big events, but the local events in uh, USA, um, so that we can create a market buzz and then um, we can boost our sales. Um, and we consider our uh, 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 strength, and we want to utilize that uh, that strength of strong distribution channel uh, by analyzing the seven P's of marketing mix, which will uh, which will help us to. Um, uh, identify what sort of customer segment one, what sort of uh, product at, a, uh, at, at, at what range of price. Analyzing all sorts of things, we will be offering uh, the products and we will be boosting our sales so that we can cover up the profit. And uh, uh, finally, we will also like to assure uh, that uh, and convince our uh, potential investors that um, we are very confident about the growth of our company as it, it is a highly growing company. Um, as the young entrepreneurs are involved, uh, uh, so uh, with, with with a big hope and with uh, assurance of providing a minimum of 15% uh, stock share as well as cash dividend to our potential investors, we'll like we'll like to um, we'll like to declare that uh, we'll be making good sum of money in the upcoming years. With that being said, I'd like to conclude our presentation. Thank you.